Hey guys. So today is uh, Monday, April 3rd. Obviously I'm not on the uh, trail. Um, my wife and I are back at home in uh, McDonough, Georgia, which is just south of Atlanta. Uh, why am I here? Well, uh, today our plan of action with the uh, severe weather moving through the uh, North Georgia and the um, Atlanta area was to uh, leave Hawk Mountain Shelter this morning at 6 a.m., which we did, and get to uh, Gooch um, Shelter and um, ride the weather out there. Uh, that was the plan today. Unfortunately, uh, this morning, uh, I guess the weather moved in a little bit earlier than uh, was forecasted, at least what we had seen um, back at Hawk uh, Mountain all day yesterday, pretty much. Uh, we didn't have any cell service at all. But uh, with the weather moving in earlier, um, by this morning when we got to uh, Cooper uh, Gap at about, oh, I don't know, it was probably 10.30, 10-ish, maybe 10 o'clock, um, we were between bands already, and the severe weather was already moving through um, the LJ area, which is just west of uh, Dahlonega and Amalekoa Falls, so we thought it was best to uh, get off the uh, trail at that point. Uh, we had heard rumors that Gooch was probably already full. Um, that's why a bunch of us had made the plan just to leave Hawk so early this morning. Just didn't work out that. And hopefully for the other guys and gals that uh, kept on trucking, um, they were able to find shelter at Gooch. Uh, I know a lot of um, hikers while we were at Cooper Gap with the uh, Army Rangers Water Buffalo there, which is uh, 400 gallons of water. Uh, they decided to go ahead and uh, ride out the storm there versus setting up a tent, possibly in uh, bad weather if the shelter didn't have space available. So, um, hindsight, you know, maybe we should have just hung out at um, Hawk all day because the uh, weather seems like it's uh, already cleared the uh, Hawk area. And then we could have done an evening hike over to uh, Gooch uh, without any uh, issues at all other than just a wet and muddy trail, which is everybody knows is no big deal. Um, my wife all along was only going to be on the uh, trail until Wednesday with me until Neil's. So um, she was ready uh, to um, get some dry clothes, um, a glass of wine, and a hot shower. So um, I couldn't blame her, so I, I did the right thing. I got, I got her off the trail, uh, and then um, I'll get back on the trail um, here. Um, hopefully, uh, I would have liked to do it tomorrow. But I know uh, now there's uh, forecasting another uh, severe episode of uh, weather moving through North Georgia Wednesday. So I may wait till either um, Wednesday evening uh, to hit back to Cooper or Thursday morning. So that's the uh, plan as of today. Um, we started Friday at uh, Amalakola Falls. Uh, we stayed at the lodge overnight. So we knocked out the uh, stairs. Um, from the lodge going down to the visitor center then back up to the uh, lodge uh, Friday so that was nice we didn't have to carry a pack so that was uh, made it quite easy, uh, easily up the uh, stairs no problem um, Saturday morning we did the uh, 7.8 miles up to uh, the Springer, Mount, uh, Springer Shelter Springer Mountain Shelter and uh, that was fun that's a good climb good workout we enjoyed it and then uh, yesterday, like I said, we uh, went from uh, Springer Mountain Shelter down to uh, Hawk Mountain Shelter, and we tended there overnight with uh, lots of people. We met some uh, interesting people. We had a good group going. And like I said, we uh, sat around dinner and tried to formulate a, a game plan based on our, our current uh, weather uh, forecast that we had. You know, I wished um, probably we just had just slept in and just rode the storm out in the uh, tent or the shelter. The shelter, I think, had four people in it and it is you know a wall scott will tell you it holds 16. so um but you know that's that's water under the bridge now um my wife's at home she's happy that's what's most important and um i'll get back on the trail and continue my uh, big section hike um this week you know i planned on uh, doing a zero her and i were going to get a, a cabin or either stay at helen uh this uh once we got to neil's so with taking the uh, zero this uh, tomorrow, I'll um, forego that and skip skip uh, taking a zero. Once we get the nails, I'll just push on and uh, get a, a resupply sent uh, either up to uh, Mountain Crossing or I'll just carry a, a two, two days of extra food. Um, I really haven't crossed. I'll think about that uh, tonight and tomorrow. 
But I just wanted to give you all an update. Um, I wish everybody that's out on the trail, they're uh, staying safe and hopefully halfway uh, semi-dry. Uh, there were a couple good downpours and like I said, driving home, the weather was just uh, terrible. Um, we even had actually had a, a tornado move south of where um, we live here in the uh, McDonough area. If anybody's from the Atlanta area, it's down around the Locust Grove, Griffin area, which is, you know, not too far from where we live. So I hope everybody's safe, and uh, we'll see you back on the trails later this week. Take care.